When you think of fashion, 1960s gold lame tuxedo. You might think of the Big Apple. So fans of Chanel suits, there's one for you right here. But tucked away on the streets of Shippensburg is something that may surprise you. You'll see everything from 18th century to all the way up to the modern. Welcome to the Fashion Archives and Museum of Shippensburg University. Feel free to look around. Where you can see what people around the world wore. See the sunflowers on there? Centuries before you were born. We do have a gown from the 1780s. It's so different from the clothes right now, and they're just so colorful. It's not all ancient. I had a brown one and a yellow one with smocking on it. Clothes from the late 1900s also make an appearance. It's all run by fashion enthusiast Karen Bollicky. My mother first put knitting needles in my hands when I was three. She designs the exhibits and manages a vast collection, thousands of clothes spanning hundreds of years. Our oldest pieces are second through ninth century AD Coptic textiles taken from Egyptian burials. Balaki says the museum's role includes education. If you wanted something, someone had to make it by hand. It's a resource for Shippensburg University's history majors. What they're getting here is far more hands-on than the, what they would get in another institution. I'm currently putting in tags for our collection on these mittens. Students like Trent Snader learn the ins and outs of running a museum. I never thought I'd know how to sew. Including how to identify, date, and preserve preserve historical clothing. It is cool like seeing something from like 200 years ago and then seeing it change 50 years later. The archives traces the long history of fashion with a collection other museums rely on. They turn to me regularly saying, do you have? But it's not on everyone's radar. They look at you with like this puzzled look going, what? I've never even heard of it. Director Balaki wants to change that, inviting people in to see the past through a woolen or maybe a silken lens. And it might make you think too about how you present yourself to the world when you dress and also what items in your family do you really want to preserve and hand down. For Destination Pennsylvania, I'm Sonica Bargo.